Hey guys, so I have been researching and doing some of my personal research about scripting and then how we can implement scripts in Spark AR. And I have found a few things I would like you guys to learn and uh, see. First of all, uh, I want you to guys to get to know the basic structure and how to access the console and how to get around the Spark AR and then play with scripts. And in the future, we will be playing with modules, modules, with trying to interact and maybe try to repeat the same steps what we have done in patches, but with the help of scripts. So as you can see, I just opened a new project in Spark AR. It has nothing. Make sure you guys maybe update to the latest version because they usually come up with new versions every two, three days. And Spark AR is doing such a great job actually improving the software and platform for us. But here we go. Let's, so this is a new project. And in order to access the console, you will have to go to the left up corner, as you can see the workspace, and then click uh, show or hide console. So as you can see the console section on the bottom appears the same place where you can see the patches. And it's, it, it will be like similar to terminal. So you can run the uh, scripts and also debug and you can like see like you can filter errors warning or logs this is i don't even know what this does but this was clear it's the same as you will do on terminal clear and so in order let's just like go ahead and try to add scripts in order to add scripts you have to go to the left bottom corner and add asset you click there and then you click script. So other uh, resources will be the best to actually go to um, a Spark AR website and learn. I will show you in the end of this video. Or at the codechangers.com, there is a lesson section in Spark AR where we added the most important sites for you viewing. I will also touch this in the bottom of this video. But so here we go, we added script and it's it was added on the bottom in the script folder. So I'll click twice and it should open up uh, automatically using your, uh, your personal code editing uh, software. In my case, that was Sublime, but whatever you guys have installed you also can Google out and maybe change the setting. So as you can see, uh, Spark AR provides us, the Spark AR team provides us with all the information and the basic just to get to know uh, a little bit of scripting. So here they just add the module. You will need module, all types of module that you're gonna be playing with. This also was exported diagnostic. Diagnostic was exported in order to um, see the console, so it's like well, the console log or that'll be print basically if you are using Python. So let's uh, go ahead and remove this si section. And right now we will be so I will just like show you how to. Here's the same thing what you'll do in the comment log. Let's just like a log a string. And so I will be using diagnostic dot log and I'll just have to put this in um, and maybe just like a hello world let's go and make sure we close it save it and hopefully this should appear in our console and right now it doesn't but here we go it just did hello world but in order, to, if you guys don't see that, you can also stop animator and it'll restart it at the same time on the left up corner and then play again and then see the second, third, third time Hello World appeared, right? We also can uh, 
So it's basically JavaScript. If you guys are familiar with JavaScript, it should be easy. I'll just quickly insert this variable and just insert console uh, console log that too. Save it, restart, and then play again. Hmm. Didn't work. So let's just clear. Let's make sure we save it. Do it again. Okay, here we go. So it just appeared. So you can also do math like my my integer will be five plus seven, and then you can just do that type of calculations. and comment this out, save it, clear it, and hopefully this should work, and it does give us the answer. So you can do, and maybe in the future you'll try to import libraries and free uh, modules and interact. So that, that was the basic introduction of scripts. So let's go ahead and dive into the second part which I'll be introducing in the next videos. Thanks so much. And if you have any question, leave a comment. And also make sure to subscribe.